Hi guys, this is Sati Verma. Uh, we are making a hydroponic tower today. In fact, we have already made it, so I just wanted to explain how did I do that. This is a 96 liter, 96 liter bucket we have. And inside the bucket, we have a submersible pump and another bucket in which we added rocks and put this tower garden inside it. The submersible pipe is attached outside. I would have taken it inside but because I had this set up earlier for another purpose I found it easier for me without disturbing much to run it outside. So the one end of the submersible pump is attached to this pipe which is going at the top and it's a very easy setup at the top. Now, we have this water coming through here and then I have a very cheap solution taking a funnel, drilling some hole in this and locking it at the back. So this funnel attaches at the top of this pipe, water comes from here and then it rains into this tower and it's an outside attachment so so it doesn't come off I added another joint in here as you can see so this will prevent it from going out on the 4 inch PVC pipe we attached elbows at around 6 inches distances and there are 4 rows of it very easy setup, very cheap setup to make. On the lid of this 96 gallon bucket, I drilled a 4 inch hole on it and another hole to run my pipe through this. So this is very easy to build and it's very cheap. So once you fill it with the water and attach it to the pump, Because the pump is attached to a timer and I'm not pretty sure whether it is on or off cycle but we can check it in a while it's on off cycle right now so the pump is not running and temporarily just for demonstration purposes I put a tie in here to secure this in place and then I'm gonna clip it later on So once this setup is complete, all you have to do is plug in the plants in here. And we are planning to plug in Indian basil or tulsi, what we call it. So then we'll be growing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 4, 40 different plants of Indian basil here. So the, once again, the entire setup is very cheap and very easy to make you have a submersible pipe 96 liter bucket and in the middle you have another bucket full of rocks so that this holds the tower in place it doesn't fall and from a submersible pipe you just run another smaller pipe in here and put a funnel so that the water drips in as a rain and in this tower you can have attached elbows and there you are. Now you close the lid. The water is on now and water is coming through this pipe and is going through this funnel and dropping it as a rain inside the tower. So that will help us getting a rain tower like this and then we will simply plug the plants in. So yeah so we already plugged in the plants here. It's very easy, just take a plant with the roots, wash the roots if you have them grown in some other medium than water and you just plug in like this. So it's very easy, we already planted all roll in here with Indian basil and I have two morning glory plants growing as well here so I planted them at the bottom.
so that they can just climb like that. Now the final part is adding the nutrition. It comes in two parts, part A and part B. And you add per the recommended dose. So I'll be using 4 ml per liter for larger plants, 3 ml per liter for medium size. So depending on the size, we'll just add, we have 96 liter bucket and inside there is another bucket so it's not exact 96 liters it's less than that the content of water and for the content of water we will add nutrition i already added there so i just wanted to show that this comes in part a and part b for vegetative growth so in this particular plant we are concerned only with the vegetative growth but this one here the morning glory it will have some flowering but i will just for these two plants i'll not be adding the flowering stage nutrition i'll only be using the vegetative stage in addition so it's very easy to make and i'll be updating you as it grows after three four five weeks and later thank you very much for watching